Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask John Hood and Chris Fitzsimon, there's a proposal in the legislature that if passed would allow colleges and universities to sell beer and wine at their athletic facilities. Currently, alcohol sales are allowed on, in premium spaces, but not to the general public. And it's also sold at tournament contests. Is this another idea whose time has come, or should we continue our current policy uh, of not allowing sales? And I want to start with our teetotaler, John Hood. I have very strong opinions about this, <laughs> uh, which is that uh, I, I just don't see how this is a sustainable distinction. I understand the argument. That the, the argument in... Well, some would just prefer not to have any alcohol sold on public property at any game and so forth. That's already or out Or anywhere the door. in our state. But uh, this particular argument is that in a premium space, you're not going to have minors, but a lot of college students are minors, and so they've got a question about carding and, and regulation. But I just think in the long run, people need to understand these are sports businesses that happen to be somewhat tangentially related to campus, <laughs> and that's what they're about, <laughs> and they're going to maximize revenue. And I just think we should we should uh, be realistic about the likelihood of this distinction. Surviving. So is the camel's nose already under the tent here? Oh, the camel's nose is having a, a drink at every game. Uh, <laughs> I, disappointingly, I, do, I agree with John. I don't. Uh, this seems like if if you're going to allow the wealthy people in the boxes to have a, a beer watching a basketball or a football game, it seems absurd that the adults, over, people over 21 who are not who don't have the money to buy a box, should be allowed the same thing. And it does raise revenue. This is one of those vestiges of sort of the old, I think, the sort of the religious conservatives. It'll be a big battle, I think. You do, uh, but I do think any any t any time you expand alcohol laws to make them more to make alcohol easier to obtain, there will be a segment of the religious community that will oppose it. Uh, I think that though that just like they do every time they have to raise the hour of when you can have an alcoholic beverage at brunch, we did that for the Carolina Panthers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I think this is a, th well, I don't know whether it'll happen this session or not, but this clearly is going to happen. Shades of coy privet come back to memory, and I Did remember you really my, need to bring that up? My, well, my dad was in the legislature during this liquor by the drink. Now, uh, by argument. the way, if we continue to have significant enforcement problems, one might consider whether the drinking age really ought to be 21 or not. And, okay, so uh, <laughs> as now, you open, to, now you open as up more. As opposed to when you become an adult, you get to behave as an adult. Well, okay, right. so if you're an adult at 18, you can vote. And Correct. Can, and be drafted. And be or drafted. not drafted, but serve in the military. Yeah. Join so, the military. Or would you suggest lowering it? Of course. I don't think it should have ever been raised in the first place. If you're an adult, you're an adult. We'll get well, some cards. We'll get, get some get cards on this one. Well, thank you for okay. watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com. <laughs>